Anyway, let's go my legal video. I'm going to tell you something that no attorney nor people want you to know. If you're brown, y'all call it black, but have your IQ level up higher than that. Y'all brown. Know your dang laws. Nobody should be spending no... Oh, that's right. Plus, make a lot for pro bonos. Mm. Anyway, y'all should know y'all laws very well enough. I am not paying no attorney a thousand dollars an hour to look over my paperwork. They don't even do a thousand an hour on paperwork. The reason why it took me this long to get my paperwork because I'm doing multiple things in one day. Pro bono, get credit and freaking a sentence in tax reduction for every court case they take. There you go. Anyway, there you go. Subject at hand. Pro bono is where a attorney would take your paperwork without pay. If we don't win the case, they do not get paid. Good. I agree with some most pro bonos. I would not take a case that I would not win or more value. It's illegal for an attorney to take your case and know you committed the crime. And try to fight your way out of the crime. You did not punch this person in the face. My client did not punch this person in the face. I know you did, but I've said it did. That's illegal in itself. What they supposed to do, my client did punch them in the face due to the fact of. So, that's a different story. But, you know, this is what happened when you have Caucasian, Asian, and Indian charts. I mean, brown people was in charge last time. I just had to wipe those pricks out. That's just me. So, all y'all need to go. But, anyway. Pro bono, you the attorney do not get paid unless you win. Other attorneys charge like thousand dollars an hour, just going over paperwork. It doesn't, and it could take thousand dollars for paperwork and another six thousand for every month they're working a case. Think about that. That seems like a scam. It is a scam because a. You can have a case packet. Okay, I give my example. I, I'm still doing my lawsuit against the government and stuff. I had a case packet ready within one month. I sent it in. And the month after said, you do even have your paperwork in our records. I was, and I was funny. How do you not have my paperwork in your records? My paperwork is in your computer system. Did your computer disappear as well? They said, I'm sorry, sir, but your paperwork is not in our records. Uh -huh. So that is the main reason why I went back in the National Guard a third time. Because I went back in the National Guard a third time. My paperwork was in the system. That's the only reason why I went back in. Middle fingers prick. No, I don't swear, but middle fingers. But anyway, that is the subject at hand. Um, know your laws and know your cases. The main easy thing for attorney for pro se yourself is basically here's a simple thing. Know what you want to sue for. Write a draft plan out. Write a plan out. Write a statute that goes with your plan. Know the statute they can say the opposite of your plan. Because most of our laws of every country is different from laws in America. Then means this. This is native land. All this belongs to the natives. So whatever laws say this native ground, native ground, nothing they say about them in the first place. And first of all, the Bible is a bull crop because the Bible used to say only slave is part of God's plan. Now they change that bull crop. So better thing at all. But anyway, the Declaration of Independence separate America from Britain as an immigrant that have its own set of laws in the Constitution and amendments. And then you kept adding amendments on over time until we have what we are today. And laws we have today contradict some laws yesterday and that would contradict laws tomorrow, whatever. You can't make a left foot while making a right foot. If you make a right foot, you're illegal. But you have to make a left foot, become a right foot. If you make a right foot to go up, it's illegal. Congratulations. I have seen cases where attorneys said that. Anyone. It's the same thing with every other country. If you go to Saudi Arabia, you don't have a law. You're on the A team, the B team, or the C team. If you go to Somalia, you better hope you're in a group of 50 people carrying machetes. I got kicked out of Africa my second time. Being there is not my concern. I can trash the whole dang continent by myself. That's probably why I got kicked out. But anyway, as I stated before, don't go to Russia. Maybe it's just you go to Russia. I can't be concerned. I just keep back on them anyway. Know your laws anyway. The quickest way to do a pro se. If you're going to represent yourself, as I said before, know you want to sue for, know your crowd claim, know the arguments. Being an attorney basically is talking to close off. It's an art of deception and getting attention, which is not my thing. Which is why I didn't do paralegal or private investigator or crime scene investigator or forensic police officer. 
a yes you can still police still still police they did not ask the question then you do not have to answer it if police ask you something like hey how do you feel today i feel pretty agitated and they use the agitation in court which have totally nothing to do with the situation then it's illegal on day and you know it's called leading it's illegal but anyway when you do pro se case this is my packet of how I sell my formula. Since I'm already been hacking, people are just douchebagging my stuff and catching virus. They catching my virus I had made a while back. And this is just this is my setup. That won't go to there. This is my drop setup when I prepare myself for pro se. Then there's the freaking send your stuff to the attorney. Now there are three things the attorney would do. Actually, six things. And I'm going to give you all my situation. First thing, for attorneys that are not pro bono, conflict of interest when that attorney worked for that company. Now, conflict of interest have many things. They can either help you or not help you, depending on the scenario and who you are. Enough said. Most of the time, they want to help you a noob, which is illegal, but I'm just saying. And then there's another attorney, like my situation, this bullcrap state. This whole state run by KKK or the mafia, this douchebag government, which I stood a tea bag the last hour, but I can't be concerned. A attorney, if attorney, if you call an attorney and you give them legit documents that can help you win the case and they say they won't do it, they're fair with them. Because one of the people I'm still down here is also down here. They kept asking more questions, more questions over and over and over and over and over. You know you can win. You're an attorney because there are some situations where an attorney would not represent themselves in court. They would hire another attorney to do so. And I have talked to some attorneys about that and they told me it's possible that these people are with their attorney or friends or that. And they're trying to obtain more information, you, more documents for you to prepare a counterclaim against you. Which means that's illegal. I'm just saying. Computer science in there. I can hack anything. Anyway. And then there's an attorney who is just a total douchebag who want all your information and get all your information and go to court and they don't want to represent you. These people aren't turning down. But they have all your information so arise in the future if you represent yourself and you lose, they might give you a call back say, I want to represent you now. That way if these people can charge you for even more money, you are in the movie where you want to pay them more. They tried to have it to me, then I turned middle finger and I represent myself and won again. Like I said, middle finger. And then there's the attorneys who will represent your case, but they try so little that due to the lack of experience. I take my chances with them. The main reason why, because I, I attempted paralegal school and I know how to help in debate and argument. But like I said, I'm not tongue twisting out to close. I'm just going to hop across the freaking desk and snap your neck and say, hey, see you, Maker. I'll be on my way soon enough. Anyway. And then there's a lawyers who, they know they can win you, but they're going to charge you a huge amount of, uh, usually that means two things. They can win for you, get paid a lot of money, and they also get paid a lot of money, or they can win for you. You get paid a small amount of money, like 10000 and they get paid like fifty grand of it. Read your contract. So, as I stated before, this is how I set my packet up. This is what I do as myself as a lawsuit. If you are out there doing crimes, you should know the law behind the crime. If you can't represent yourself, then middle finger. Like, when I stayed in Bismarck, I got sent to jury. I'm, trying, I'm schizophrenic. I can't be in jury. Any douchebag try me, they will die on the spot. It made me go to it anyway, and I'd say, guilty. Yeah, I could have got rid of the girl. He was white. And then it was the same thing in Grand Forks. I think he's the guy that stayed there. I can't be concerned. I don't care. Yeah. And then I was guilty, and when I went out, his supposed little friend pushed me. Normally, I snap your neck off, but the police told him to do so, for I can lose control of myself. And I just was pointing out I'm a chemical engineer, and he said what that meant. It means that you all can die. Of course, they can't do anything illegal about it, because, no. Do a certain statute in such a scenario. But anyway... Subject at hand. Know your laws, know your case. If you are being pro se yourself, know the statute you're suing for. There's a different section of pro se if you get incarcerated, aka go to jail. Hell. Better hope you're on 18. <laughs> Better finger. If you go to jail and go incarcerated or if you go to jail and you get incarcerated before your bill or no bill or no bond, 
and you just go in jail and you want to represent yourself in case how are you going to do your research if you're only 18 they allow you to go to the library with your legal law books and do your research and you gotta be careful with this because they can take some of the law books out of jail and you have some old statues that are outdated and won't be used. If you're on the 18, you can get the proper statues. But most of the time, if you're incarcerated and you represent yourself, you know, you don't mean, hold on. If you think you're out here without any legal knowledge out here, it's going to be super hard when you go to jail. Have fun. It's the same thing, but worth it 10 times a day. So, you had to go through the same process of what I'm doing now while incarcerated, but you have to use a different form, get a different time while in jail. It's a possibility that guards can stress you out, you know, give you time to freaking prepare for your case. It's the same thing doing the military, because when I went in, a lot of people got kicked out for some dumb reason. Like, some guy tripped on his knee, got kicked out. Some guy hit his head, got kicked out. Some girl got pregnant, got kicked out. A bunch of other stuff. And it's the same thing as a cycle. So it could be the same thing in the jail system. All right, then. I'm not an OG, but I know that OG would never go jail. It's do or die. Yeah, it's do or die. I hate fakes anyway. Legitly hate fakes. Anyway, subject at hand, know your laws. As you can see with my section packets and all this bullcrap stuff, I have over 18 different lawsuits I need to do. And somehow, if I put my full time in one, I can have a packet done in four days. I can, and I can have another packet done in four days, and I just got to prepare for my stuff. There's literally nothing these people can't say that they can win legally wise, but... I'm pretty sure they're going to try to tongue twist me out my clothes. One dude called me Slenderman, and I told him, yeah, I'm just going to keep coming back to that win. And as I said before, I've been trying to do the government for the past couple of years now. And somehow my record keeps going to miss, and I'm like, yeah, it's a good thing I went back in the garden for a third time. I got my stuff now, prick. They did steal my stuff, TSA, but I have a server planned up throughout the United States. I think I had it. Anyway, subject at hand. Know your laws. Prepare your lawsuits. If you represent yourself, better know your stuff. Her judges will try to harass you, which is legal, which is why they dismiss them, but whatever. And sometimes attorneys try to bully you, saying, I don't know, if the glove dropped, I mean, the statute is 36, 38, and just, just look, and I just normally say it. That's the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Objection. I'm not switching my attorney mode on, like I said before. It's not the money that I'm concerned about. It's rather I'm going to hop the desk and snap their necks and teabag people one by one. I hop the desk and not snap the necks and still teabag and then snap their body in half. Like I said, 